Welcome back, social media family, for another video. Uh, today we're going to discuss, can a homosexual or a lesbian make it to heaven? Um, and this is a very complex uh, topic or a very um, controversial topic that has been had over the years, whether or not can someone who is actively gay or actively lesbian make it to heaven. Now, and, and I'm going to answer this in a way that I touch different a different perspective for both sides to get an understanding, someone who's not a gay person, someone who is. So um, in a short answer, can someone who is actively you know, a homosexual or actively a lesbian make it to heaven? The answer is yes, but that's with an exception of what I'm going to say, because I got to make that clear. Because if I say yes, someone who's gay can make it to heaven. Someone who's a lesbian can make it to heaven. And I just stopped this video right there. Then it's like, all right, there you go. I get to stay gay. I get to stay a lesbian. And I'm going to go to heaven because the man of God just said in the video that a gay person can go to heaven. A lesbian can go to heaven. Yes, but now I'm going to give you Bible verse. And then I'm going to give you a practical example in today's time that you would be able to understand what I'm saying, why I said yes, and and then um, we'll wrap the video up. So we're going to turn our Bibles uh, to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 to 11. And it goes on to say, Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or are abusive or cheat people, none of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Some of you were once like that, but you were cleansed. You were made holy. You were made right with God by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the spirit of our God. Now, why I said yes is because, for example, there was a time in my life where I used to sleep around. I used to go to strip clubs. You know, I used to do things that did that went against the way of God that that were contrary to how God tells me to live. There were times where, you know, I've gotten drunk before and the Bible just says a drunkard went under the kingdom of heaven. So there was a time I actively did those things. But then there was a time where I gave my life to Jesus truthfully and I changed. I, Jesus changed me. He changed the way I did things and I didn't know I no longer did those things anymore. So why I said, yes, a homosexual or a lesbian can go to heaven is because. The day that person who is an actively gay person or an actively um, lesbian person gives their life to Jesus, they repent of their sins and turn to God and they are given the Holy Spirit, they will be given salvation and they will be transformed. So why I said yes is because I don't want someone who is an actively gay person to think, well, as long as there's breath in their lungs, there's nothing they could ever do to get into heaven because that is not the case because the Bible clearly says in verses 11, of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it says some of you were once like that. So today, someone might actively be a homosexual today. Someone might actively be a lesbian today. But three years from now, two years from now, they find Jesus and they're no longer like that. So if I say that, no, there's no way a homosexual can go to heaven. There's no way a lesbian can go to heaven. Then that would mean we're all screwed because there was a time where someone used to be an adulterer. There was a time that someone who's now a Christian used to be a drunkard. There was a time when someone who is now a Christian used to be, you know, a thief, but they're no longer like that. But if I told them while they're a thief, there's no, there, you can't get in. No matter if you change, even if you decide today, there's no, there's no getting in for you then we would all be screwed because we've all started off as sinners. We've all been jacked up. Whether your sin was adultery, whether your sin was being a thief, whether your sin was you were a murderer, the reality is the homosexual is no different than the person who was an adulterer, is no different than the person who was a thief. If any of the above, a thief, a murderer, a, a gay person, a lesbian, a drunkard, a greedy person, if today they give their life to Jesus, and they, they, they repent of their sins and turn to God, then they will be going to heaven. 
So I say yes, but I don't want the homosexual to think they can stay a homosexual. I don't want the lesbian to think they can stay a lesbian because that is where I say I will talk about it from two perspectives. Now, if a homosexual decides to stay a homosexual and say, nope, I'm not, I don't agree with God's word. I don't agree with what you're saying, brother JR. Um, I just, I don't agree with that. I'm going to stay gay because I don't think there's a problem with it. I'm a lesbian and I'm going to stay a lesbian because I don't care what the Bible says. I don't care what God says. See, if you have that mindset, that means you haven't repented. That means you're saying God's way isn't the right way. I'm going to do me. Now, if you stay like that, I will say with boldness and conviction, you will not go to heaven. Because the word of God says that right there. It says all who do, who, who, it says don't fool yourselves. It says that those who, who indulge in these types of practices will not inherit the kingdom of God. So that means if a homosexual or if a lesbian chooses to stay a lesbian their whole life and die a lesbian, chooses to stay a homosexual their whole life and die a homosexual, then with boldness and conviction, again, I say they will not inherit the kingdom of God. God because they refused to repent while they were here on earth. You see, I always say this is when you don't know, then there's grace. There's an opportunity for God to say he or she doesn't know. So I can't condemn someone who doesn't know the truth. It's not fair. And God's a fair God. He's a just God. So what God does is he gives you an opportunity to know the truth. And the opportunity is for anybody, whether the gay person, the guy who used to murder people, the girl that used to rob banks. God gives everyone an opportunity to know the truth. Now, once you're given the opportunity time and time again, this year, the next year, your whole life, you've been given opportunity after, after opportunity. And then you turn them down. Nope, 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 nope. And then you die not having taken the opportunity that God gave you, my friend, <laughs> It's going to be hot because I'm telling you the reality is if you die a homosexual, you live out the life of homosexuality and refuse to turn away even when you're given the truth. You refuse to turn away from being a lesbian even when you hear the truth. You know, I'm, I'm not sorry to tell you this because it's the word of God. You will go to hell. And um, that's the reality. Now, I'm not judging you. I'm not trying to condemn anybody in this video. I just want you to know the truth because the word of God says the truth shall set you free. So in um, in conclusion, again, I say to you again that um, homosexual, uh, someone who's homosexual who repents, someone who's a lesbian who repents and repentance is you saying that God's way is the right way. And so the way I've been living, the way I've chosen to be is wrong according to God's word. So repenting again is you saying, I'm going to do God, do it God's way. If you are a homosexual and choose to say today that I'm going to do it God's way. And so I'm no longer going to classify myself as gay. In fact, I agree with God that homosexuality is wrong and I will not live that way anymore. I'm going to give my life to Jesus. If that is you, then you Yes, there is a spot for you in heaven. If that is you as a lesbian, there is a spot for you in heaven. But if you say, nope, I'm going to stay gay, I'm going to die gay. If you say, nope, I'm going to stay a lesbian, I'm going to die a lesbian. And then if you, in fact, die a gay person, you die a lesbian and you never repented, you never gave your life to God, then the sad reality, my friend, is on judgment day, when God judges you, he will say he does not know you. And I would hate for that to be you. And my prayer is that you would uh, take the opportunity that God has given you through this video to know that homosexuality is wrong. Being a lesbian is wrong. But again, I always say this to you as a gay person, to you as a lesbian, to the next person as an adulterer, sin isn't your fault. Why you're the way you are isn't your fault, which is why God has given you an opportunity to know the truth so you can be set free. Um, and 2 Peter chapter 2, and I'm going to close with this. 2 Peter chapter 2, starting at verses 6, um, uh, Peter is talking about what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah. And Sodom and Gomorrah, for those of you who may not know, it's a story in the Bible in the Old Testament of a, of a town or a place that was so wicked. There was homosexuality. There was all types of uh, 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 witchcraft. There was just anything you can think of that would have been detestable to God. The Bible talks about things that are detestable to God in, in, in the laws of Moses. And, and the Bible talks about it in the, in the book of the prophets of Jeremiah about the, the, the detestable things that were found in Sodom and Gomorrah, which is why God destroyed them completely. Now, 
that's just context of what was going on in this place called Sodom and Gomorrah. There was just a bunch of detestable things, homosexuality, and like I said, all things that were evil in the sight of God. And God, you know, uh, he destroyed this place completely destroyed it, burned it up. And the Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 2, starting at verse 6, it says, Later God condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and turned them into heaps of ashes. He made them an example of what will happen to ungodly people. So who would be classified as an ungodly person? Anyone who refuses to repent. So like I said, I'm going to say it again, whether you're a gay person, whether you are a someone who murders people as for a living, whether you're somebody who is greedy, like you're always craving things of this world. I want this. I want that. Like you're never satisfied. If you're someone who, who, who gets high all the time and it's okay to you, if you're somebody who beats your wife, you know, and you don't repent, you don't, you know, get to a place one day where you say this is wrong and God, I give you my life. If you never get to that place, then you are classified as ungodly because you are not living the way God wants you to live. So when you think about someone who would be considered a Walmart employee, it's someone who does what Walmart tells them to do. So if I work for Walmart, they have a standard, they have a requirement and that for me to be considered part of the employees of Walmart, if I work there, I have to do what I'm told. I have to do, you know, what's required here. But if I don't, they're going to fire me. And I will no longer be considered an employee of Walmart. I will be considered unemployed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I no longer have a job. You're unemployed because you are not flowing with the way we say it is over here. And what I'm saying is God says that homosexuality is wrong. God says being a lesbian is wrong because that is not his intent for human beings. And so my thing now is an ungodly person is the person who says, I don't care what God says. I'm going to do me. Well, if that is you, then Sodom and Gomorrah is an example of what will happen to you on Judgment Day. You will be consumed by fire. And I don't say that jokingly. I say that seriously because it is not a joking matter. So that being said, in conclusion, can someone who is a homosexual lesbian get to heaven? Yes, it's possible if they choose to repent and turn their life to God. Then yes, God will, he will gladly take that person in because he's going to transform them. And by the time we get up there or they get up there, they will be a different person, including the person who was an adulterer, the person who struggled with masturbation, the person who was going, you know, to strip clubs. The reality is all of us will be transformed by God when we give our lives to God and he will accept us all. You know, and he will, he will sanctify us and we will be, you know, in heaven with him on that glorious day when Christ Jesus returns. But in conclusion, if a homosexual or a lesbian says they will stay the way they are, there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing, I'm being me, YOLO, I'm free to do what I want to do, and they die with that mindset having not repented, then unfortunately they will never, you know, uh, be able to be in heaven and stay in heaven. The, the only time they'll be there is on Judgment Day, and Sodom and Gomorrah is the example of what will happen to them. So in conclusion, I pray that you will heed this video, the heed the word of God that, you know, God has given to you, whoever this is for. Um, again, I say it again, I don't judge anybody. It's not my job, and it's not anybody's job in this world to judge where someone is currently at. Only God has the right to do that. And um, if you would take the opportunity that God has given you today, if you are that person on the other side of the screen who would say, I'm a homosexual or who would say I'm a lesbian. Um, my prayer is that you would take the opportunity that God has given you to repent of your sins. And I always say repentance is you turning around. You were headed east. Now you're headed west. You're saying my way is wrong. Today I have found out the way I was living is wrong according to God's word. And no, repentance is you saying I agree now with God's word. And then you obey what God's word says. And the next thing it says is to be baptized in the name of Jesus, which is you're submerged in water and baptized in Jesus name. And through obedience, it proves that you believe. In God's word. It proves you believe in God. And now God will stamp you with his Holy Spirit by placing his spirit within you. And when that happens, my friend, whether you used to be a gay person, whether you used to be a murderer, you will be guaranteed a child of God. You're guaranteed as a child of God. You're guaranteed to be in heaven on the glorious day when Jesus Christ returns. And that is good news. And I pray that you would take that opportunity in Jesus name. Have a good day.